he ate a burrito with no stains. Check that out. Mad yeah. skills. Uh, and he's one of the co-producers of the room. So give it up for Nathan Gibson. I never know when I need to duck in this room. Uh, how are you guys doing tonight? All right. It's on. funny. I those who, who need to know, I'm six foot six, and uh, I was at a bar yesterday, and someone asked me and went, "Wow." you don't look menacing at all. <laughs> and then continues like, I'm just, I'm really not afraid of you. And if I feel like, if I let the conversation go, you'd be like, yeah, I can totally kick your ass. Totally. I, uh, I've been doing comedy for uh, two years, and I was told recently that if I'm going to do this comedy thing, I need to learn impressions. So I've got two under my belt. I can do a pretty decent impression of Elmo. And I can do a really good impression of a 25-year-old who didn't think he'd be working at his fourth Jimmy John's by now. <laughs> like, guys, I'm so good at that impression. I'm like the Daniel Day-Lewis of that impression. <laughs> I, I'm a delivery biker, and uh, I like biking in the city. I like using bikes to get from point A to point B. Because I'm from Indiana, and the only reason you have a bike yeah. in Indiana is because you got a DUI. <laughs> drive anymore. <laughs> I, uh, I, when I was in Indiana, I, uh, I graduated from college, and the last class I took was an intro in the literature class, and I had to read a book called The Kite Runner, and when I went into work last week, there was a physical copy of that book in the trash. True story. I feel like that's the perfect metaphor of what I'm doing with my college degree. <laughs> Uh, I'm not I'm not a menacing person as I mentioned. Uh, I I don't really think I'm gonna intimidate anyone with this one. Like, is anyone taken aback by Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen right here? <laughs> like I really want to go to a gym and have a gym membership just so I can stand in the corner with like 10 pound weights and just randomly go throughout the day. These steroids suck! <laughs> ah. <laughs> My balls are shrunk and I have no one to fight! <laughs> I live in Logan Square. I live in an all Puerto Rican neighborhood. And there's an ice cream truck that goes around my neighborhood until 1 o'clock at night. <laughs> and doesn't sell drugs. Or, I haven't figured out the password for drugs yet. <laughs> I tried code words like Chaco Taco and Push Up Pop and Hey Do Damn Drugs that don't seem to work. Mota. Mota? Alright. I'm totally gonna have to write that one down later. Marijuana. Uh, uh, in my alley, I saw a homeless man run and scream because he saw a mouse. And I don't usually talk to homeless people, but if I did, God, that sounds so dickish. Uh, it's terrible. If I, if I talk to the homeless guy, I just want to be like, listen, dude, at this stage of your life, that, that mouse is not only your roommate, uh, but he's probably your pet. And probably dinner tonight, so... Yeah, I, uh, even with that, I'm trying to be nice to strangers. I, uh, I was biking home one night and I saw a man sprinting and I wanted to encourage him so I yelled, YOU CAN DO IT! <laughs> and I was, I was starting to bike home away, I started thinking like, what if he's chasing someone to murder them? <laughs> and my encouragement helped get the job done. I feel like I literally had a part of that murder. I feel like I literally killed them with kindness right there. Holy shit. No? Alright. I, uh, I, I biked past a place today called uh, Tattoo Tattoo in Wicker Park. And I really want to go there and get pictures of ballerina outfits on each shoulder. Just so I can say I have two tattoos of tutus from Tattoo Tattoo. <laughs> but what I didn't say, uh, mention was uh, those tutus actually belong to the popular music group, group Tattoo. So technically, I would have two tattoos of tattoos, tutus from Tattoo Tattoo. <laughs> but what I didn't mention was, uh, when I'm saying this, I'm actually saying it to Fantasy Island Star Tattoo. 
<laughs> so, so technically, I would have two tattoos of tattoos, tattoo, or tattoos, tutus from tattoo, tattoo, tattoo. <laughs> uh, guys, just imagine how great that joke would have been if I didn't f it up right now. Oh man, oh man, laugh factory, here I go. <laughs> You guys like movies? Yeah! I love movies. I, I recently watched a movie called Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. Yeah! And it inspired me, guys. It inspired me to make my own films about presidents and their fictitious adventures. Because right now I'm working on a film about FDR trying to join a basketball team. <laughs> but apparently the title Rollerball's already been taken. So. Uh, I, one of the things I've never done, I've never lis uh, listened to Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon while watching Alice in Wonderland, but I have walked through a group of homeless people while listening to an NPR pledge drive, and yeah, that totally syncs up too. <laughs> I like music. I like music. Uh, I grew up a mosh pit kid. Uh, I was one of them people. And uh, I don't do it as much anymore. Not because like physically I can't do it. It's like every time I go into a mosh pit and the band starts playing and I hear I start to realize, oh yeah, this is stupid. Uh, I like a... The police once wrote a song called Every Little Thing She Does Is Magic. But if that song was written in the 17th century, that would just be called She's a Witch! <laughs> uh, Rihanna once had a song called uh, We Found Love in a Hopeless Place. Which makes me assume she has a plenty of fish account. Trying to get that. Uh, I'll stop this soon. Uh, uh, I wanted to go to Lollapalooza this, this year. Couldn't. Couldn't get tickets. Now Lollapalooza for me is a lot like sex. Like, I'm not gonna get it unless I pay hundreds of dollars to a random stranger on Craigslist. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is I'm really alone, guys, and, uh, uh, uh let's change that. Anyone? Alright. Alright, I, uh, there was a girl that I wanted to date once, uh, but I couldn't. Cause she was acting too much like a diva. And by that I mean she died in a bathtub. <laughs> there was a girl I wanted to, I, I, I was talking to this one girl and uh, and I was like, what do you want in life? And, I, and she was just like, I didn't want to be treated like a princess. So I started taking pictures of her until she got in a car crash. <laughs> Put those pictures on Facebook, named that album Candle in the Wind. Aww. Guys, I'm in Nathan Gibson, you've been fun. Have a good night. <laughs>